guess today I'm going to try and uh, go through the uh, rest of Pazuzu Tower here. Or I say rest, I guess most of it. I really just kind of started it yesterday. Yeah, I, so I, you know, like kind of the previous areas. I don't really remember this place that much. Uh, I'm not sure if I should be talking to Zuzu on each floor. Uh, for some reason I thought that that would just uh, chase him upwards and then uh, you'd have to keep chasing him. But, uh, and, you know, if you don't talk to him, you can just go up a little bit and hit a switch and then go back down and trap him. But, uh, I don't know if that's true or not. If I do end up having to chase him around, it won't be a big problem. The enemies will be not respond. Strong against Petrify, that must have been the uh, thing that was one-shotting everybody. I don't think uh, many of the enemies in here are that dangerous. Uh, I suppose if these guys all self-destructed like that, uh, it would be pretty bad. But, uh, aside from that, I think we're done with all the petrification stuff that we were hitting in the uh, last year. Tristan with the Dragon Claw as a partner. He's Kaylee's got horrible accuracy. I know the uh, sword, the last sword, is in here somewhere. And uh, I assume there's one other item. I don't know if it's the armor.
I guess. Knowing how many you have to fight uh, going up these uh, you know, even numbered floors. Zuzu up there. I wonder if I have to, uh, I don't know, if I just go up and talk to him, will I be able to really teleport away and I can just take the uh, chest that's next to him? Mm. I suppose I probably do have to kill, oh yeah, I would have to kill Kazuzu to uh, get the crystal anyways.
I guess the... I don't see the chest there. I don't know if it's on his elevator with him. This is for getting back down here after getting into Pazuzu.
single monsters are uh, much nicer. I think, you know, they're typically the uh, previous mini-bosses, the, the pallet swaps. I think their kind of intention was that those guys would be, like, you know, tough enough on their own. But, uh, they just aren't. Must be the sword. I've been splitting their attacks in case uh, Ben one-shots them, but uh, I think it's probably better just to uh, double them up just to ensure I kill them, because he doesn't seem to one-shot them that often. Square. 
stronger, but uh, he's, he's just a few inch. speeds were they seem Ben seems to sometimes go first. But uh, usually it's Kaylee. So I guess it must do some kind of like random uh, addition to their speed or something. Mm. Otherwise uh, Kaylee would just always be going first. Stronger than the axe. So. Yeah, it's just flat out better. I guess unless you're fighting, uh, you know, enemies like the trees or whatever that are uh, weak against the axe. I monster mm. there means I can't just uh, kill them all at once with magic. I get the experience for that or not. For some reason I thought there was some uh, downside to doing that.
thought I was, uh, I guess I'm not immune to it. I'm just, uh, resisting. Mm. Right, yeah, I guess, uh, Kaylee is, uh, I haven't caught in that army yet. After this, it's just a uh, max shift with uh, Ruben, and then the final area with uh, EV. Taking advantage of uh, not having any of those eyeball guys in the group.
Events here. I don't remember there being this many enemies in the previous levels. if these spells were just based off, you know, if they were closer to strength, you know, the same strength, because even when an enemy is weak against, like, fire, uh, the fire spell is just usually not worth using. Really, you just use your stronger spell, and then if they happen to be weak against it, then it's a bonus. Like, uh, fire and earthquake aren't really worth using once you get the other ones.
guys can't heal, so if they're on their own, it's not a big deal. And we've got the other guys with them, you know, they keep healing me, preventing me from using my magic on them. I guess I could have been talking to him. Now I know he will, he does occasionally like put up a shield and uh, reflect my magic. So even being weak against it, uh, Flare still does more. Yeah, I want to keep healed up, just in case. Uh, I don't know if he puts up the... A uh, shield at the end of his turn or something. Uh, I just don't want to, uh, you know, select a bunch of spells and then uh, he puts up a shield and I just nuke myself. if it's just spells it reflects, or if it will reflect uh, physical attacks as well. well. I guess it's just uh, spells. when he's changing uh, animations there. Not sure though. No. Uh, he's, yeah, he's strong against Petrify there. Uh, makes sense, but it would have been nice if he wasn't and it was one shot of him. I, remember, I wonder if they remembered to uh, put the immunity to all those on like the early, early bosses, like if you hacked in the Dragon Claw uh, at the beginning, if you could like one shot the uh, uh, Red Bone boss there in the first dungeon. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. I assume his side shield is down by now. Crystal. Crystal of Wind. And this 
try to Got all the items in here, I think. So let's exit. Yeah, it makes it so much nicer. Just being able to just warp right out. I know there's a seed salesman somewhere. Thunder Rock so that we can power the Rainbow Road uh, to get to Max Ship so that we can go to the, no, so that we can get to the top of the tower so that we can uh, get to Spencer's Tunnel I don't remember. There's uh, a long string of uh, quests just got handed out here. Anyways, off to see uh, Rupin's dad first. Yeah, there probably was a, a warp I could take, I think right from Windia, but uh, I don't feel like searching all the houses. And I don't know if I have the right crest anyways. Yeah, I'm still missing two crests. I don't know if I missed one of them somewhere. Back to Windia now, I guess. Yeah, see, I, I think that crest. Uh, I don't know. I'll maybe check a guide later, see where it is. But uh, I think I was probably supposed to have gotten that somewhere, so that I could just warp from Windia to here and then back to Windia again. so it's not too bad to just walk.
Right, here we go. go back to India. Yeah, it would have been nice if Ruben could have just been like, oh, I've got it, here it is. And we just did it, instead of going all the way back. That boosts this. I can get to the other side of Spencer's place. I think there is something in here. I think it's the other armor, actually. That means I didn't miss it. Now what did now I think he said go talk to Evie. Okay, I must have said Kaylee. gave me that uh, after I did all that running around. One of these. Okay, that would be it, but uh, 
the other place now. Maybe Phoebe uh, says something here. Go back and check uh, Windia again. Uh, I don't know, just given the uh, proximity, I would hope that it would be like, uh, you know, somewhere one of those basements maybe has a warp to it. Maybe it's one of these uh, shrines that are here. Okay, well this is definitely a place. I don't know, these temples, uh, it really seems like they had something else planned for them because there's like, you know, they all connect all over and they pop in and out uh, at different places in the world map and stuff. Uh, but they're mostly just useless, like, they're all just, uh, you know, one uh, healing item or something. a few of the uh, Mobius crest uh, things in the basements here. odd if they had the, you know, path to progress in just a random guy's basement. And they did. Okay. That's, uh, I don't, I didn't remember where that was, but so that's very strange that it would just be this random guy's basement through a warp.
Yeah, so see, they've got the fog here. That's what I was talking about earlier, I, that I wonder if uh, you were to uh, not have the gas mask here, if it would uh, hide all the enemies. Oh, even has got white now. I got all the items there. Uh, unless I trade the captain's hat for the other crest. 